Yeah, so kind of talking about that, um, now that we can't meet in person, what, uh, how do you feel the online events are going? And have you, have you attended an online event already? Um, I have. So that was the start of this exploration, right? We, we spent some time thinking about Meet Magento New York and finding the perfect venue. Um, and then early on this year, we realized, well, an in-person event is not going to happen, right? We, um, we started down the path of finding the perfect virtual platform. And then I thought, well, what does that mean? What, what do people need from a virtual event? So I took a step back and started to attend events to figure out what others are doing and um, try to go from there, which led me down a path of, you know, this massive spreadsheet with all these um, must haves and not haves and, you know, and trying to meet that with what really existed with platforms out there. Um, and that was not easy, right? It's easy to come up with this list of what you want, but there are hundreds of platforms out there. And it's not a simple issue of a checkbox. For example, does the platform have native streaming? Uh, checkboxes, yep, yep, native streaming. But then you go down that path and it's like, uh, okay, works well for one track and maybe three tracks. What we have at Meet Magento New York is three tracks which changes every half hour. So, you know, it really takes a deep dive into all of those platforms to figure out, does this actually work for us? Um, but I think, you know, by chance, we found this amazing platform. Um, and we have to give credit to Muliadi Geo, right? So, and that's a great story too. So Muliadi um, had chosen a platform for Meet Magento Indonesia. And um, he thought he was all set we were all comparing notes on what we'd found and the two of us decided on totally different platforms. And the week of his event, he realized there was some major access issue for people in Indonesia. And he stumbled across Tubelo and he pivoted two days before his event and he set it up. He did a great job, but that would have been hair raising. Brand, can you imagine changing your platform two days before the event, but he did a fantastic job. I'm so glad he's found it. And I think um, I am using it for Meet Magento New York. You are for Mexico, right? Yep, that's correct. And uh, yes. you know, we're very- Six of very, November, right? Yeah, six of November, yep. And uh, we are, we're excited that their, their head office is only a kilometer away from our office in Ahmedabad. So, you know, we-, we Yeah, so we were, we're able to kind of talk to some of the developers and hopefully we can do some more collaboration around how can we make Magento and events work together. But yeah, that's a great story. And I, I had the same experience with uh, Miladi on, on how he came up with it. And even I had a great experience speaking at that event. Um, I think I was the first or second speaker on. And um, so it went very smooth, very it smooth. It did. Right, right. You were the first speaker. And it's not just um, you and I who's using it. I also uh, spoke with Ramesh at Ren uh, Renosis about it. So Renosis is now using it for Meet Magento Singapore. So it's uh, <laughs> becoming the platform of choice for Meet Magento events. It's fantastic. Yeah, Muladi was nice enough to let me speak first because I usually go to bed about 9.30. So I think, I think I came on at 9 and I started dozing off halfway through my talk. But, uh, you know, he, he was able to send me some caffeine and some coffee in advance. So no, it, was, it was really good. And I think Meet Magento New York is going to be fantastic on this platform. I think the, the vendors are going to love it. One thing memorable for me was, the I think it was last one, the last live one, you had such a great marketplace. So I, I know that the sponsors, uh, uh, that's a big thing for the sponsors and the, the marketplace is so active. Have you, mm -hmm. have you looked at the, how, this, how this marketplace is going to work with Hublio and s seen how that interacts with the sponsors and the attendees? Oh, absolutely. In fact, the, the marketplace, yeah, let, let me tell you a bit about the platform, if you don't mind, and I'll get to um, specifics on the, on the sponsors. So, um, it is a very exciting platform. There's a lot going on, but still the interface is really simple. It's very easy to use. Um, even without any tutorials, anyone can enter the event and figure it out. Um, 
there's so many rich interactions. So there's a reception, um, an attendee list, meeting space, a networking lounge, contests, the sponsor area. So the reception area, it's just basically your event description, all your social links, um, the top networkers. It does this really fun thing that um, it awards points to networking, to various aspects of networking. And then the, the top networkers, they get this little crown above their head. Um, that's a good thing and a bad thing, but I'll tell you a little more about that a bit later. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's an event feed. Um, and that's just public posts. Anyone can go there. You know, sometimes at events we had this like, uh, WhatsApp chat going where everyone would contribute. Um, but this is just native to the platform, right? Uh, people can post about what their companies are doing, contests they have, what they're offering. So it's a really fun area. You can find most of what you need there. Um, and then the attendee area shows you everyone who's registered. You can search, it offers matching. It's, it's really fantastic. Um, and the sponsor area, it's really exciting booths. They have text and video chat. Um, uh, and I can go into that a little, a little more for you. Um, but the sponsors have put a lot of time into it. So I would say to everyone, get registered on meetmagento.nyc. Go and look at the sponsor booths. They're really fun. And that's the other thing that's different this year, right? The platform is already open. We opened it up. We've spent enough time apart from each other. The platform is open. Uh, we have, I think, something like five, over 500 people already registered and, and, and networking. So go join them. Um, there's a meeting area. So you can see the meetings that you have scheduled and confirmed as well as pending requests. And you can either chat with people or set up video calls. The networking lounge is like an actual table. So um, you can see who's seated at the table, go take a seat and again, text chat or have a video call with them. Um, anyone can set up contests, great way to engage. Um, and you know, the community really drives all, all of it. So you can have this great platform but if people are not actually using it, we'll never figure out what is the best platform for us. So let's hope we all get to use it. Um, when, when you register, so my advice is there's a two-step process for, network, for registration. You fill out the registration form, then you get a, a prompt to complete your profile. That allows you to add a picture and do. Just think with a, a list of, a thousand attendees, it's so easy to scroll by those that don't have pictures, right? So pictures are great. You can fill in your industry and your interests, tell people what you're looking for. So the platform automatically suggests matches for you. If you don't so fill out those selections, the platform can't do the matching. Um, and you can change your profile as many times as you like to get different results. Um, so yeah, complete your profiles. Um, for the sponsors themselves, as I said, you can add a demo video, PDFs, product images. Anyone at the event can reach out to a sponsor. Uh, if they don't have much time, they drop a virtual business card. And the virtual business card, by the way, does not share email addresses or telephone numbers. It just shares a profile. So the, and those virtual business cards are immediately added to a contact list for the sponsor. So the sponsor can go to their dashboard, see who's tried to connect with them and set up video meetings or chat meetings with them. Um, it really is a handy tool. Apart from that, sponsors can do the attendee search themselves, right? They can reach out to any sponsor, any attendee on the list. So there's various ways to find rich interactions on the platform. I think for me, that's what I'm really looking for at an event, right? I have been a speaker, a sponsor and a regular attendee at various events. So I think we've got a great platform, but we never know, right? It's only after the event when we get feedback from people, which is not easy, that we can figure out, is this a great way to go for sponsors and attendees and speakers? So we really hope everyone has a great time and gives us some feedback.